In this video, I'll show you how you can add closed captions to your Adobe Captivate project. I was recently adding some audio narration, which I generated using the speech synthesis over at Well Said, who I'd like to thank for sponsoring this video today. And it reminded me that the closed captioning process in Adobe Captivate isn't always easy to find. So I thought I would make an updated tutorial on how to add closed captioning in your Adobe Captivate project. Okay, so here's my workflow for adding closed caption to audio that I've already imported into my Adobe Captivate slide here. I'm going to open up the timeline and we're going to scroll down the timeline a little bit so we can see the audio narration that I've added. I can double click this and this will open up my slide audio window. If I click on the closed captioning tab, you can see I can now add closed captions to this particular slide here. So I'm going to copy the text for this particular first sentence right here. I'm going to place my playhead just before the audio begins and I'm going to click on the plus icon to add that closed caption. I can just paste this in as plain text and then of course I can preview it to hear that audio. Sometimes people are unaware their comments or actions have hurt you. And then of course I can press the pause button to pause at that point and copy and paste the next sentence in this particular narration. So click the plus icon again and paste in the next sentence. And again, we'll continue to play from this point. It's important to address discrimination or harassment as soon as possible. Once again, I'll click the plus icon, paste in the next sentence, and we'll play it through. But bringing your concerns to their attention is usually enough to have them stop the offending behavior. And there's one last little short sentence here. You can click on plus again and we'll paste that in. I like to put the transition marker just before the beginning of a sentence, giving learners ample opportunity to read the previous sentence as well. Let's make sure these are all in a good spot here. And they are, that looks good. The last thing you need to do is make sure that the closed captioning window appears on your slide in an appropriate fashion and manner. So I'm going to click on the closed captioning settings icon here and this opens up a new window and you can see where the closed captions will appear on this particular slide. Now I like to generally set up my closed captions to be in the same location and as you can see I've designed this slide to have this gray bar and this is throughout my entire project I have this gray bar that's a perfect spot for putting closed captions. So I'm going to set this up on my project level instead of an individual slide. So we'll select project, we'll check override slide level settings with project settings. So whatever I change here, I can apply them to all the slides throughout the course. I'm also going to turn closed captions on by default by selecting show closed captions. And now I'm going to make some customized choices here. So I'd like the closed captioning window to be a little bit wider. I'm thinking um, about 66.6% .6 would be good. And we'll make sure that it's in the bottom center. I think it's a little too tall for my gray bar. So I'm going to drop it down to 10% here. And we're also going to make sure that the color of the closed captions appropriate. I like the idea of white text on a black background. I think that looks better. I also would prefer to use a different font here and I'm going to increase the font size so it's nice and large on the screen here. So I think that's pretty good. I'm going to click apply to apply this not only to this slide but to all the slides in my course and now I can click close and of course I can save my closed captions for this slide and I can click close now and we can preview and see how this looks. Sometimes people are unaware their comments or actions have hurt you. It's important to address discrimination or harassment as soon as possible, but bringing your concerns to their attention is usually enough to have them stop the offending behavior. Click continue to proceed.
So you can see that I have closed captions activated by default. The choices are made. And of course, the timing was perfect with the audio narration. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.